Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Mishmas. And today we're gonna to be doing a first impressions of the Chanel Spring Summer 2020 collection. So it was just released on their website. I was so excited to order it. It arrived and I just, I mean, Mishmas has really taken over my life, um, but I just haven't gotten a chance to like inspect all these things and just even open up the boxes. So here are all the products that I purchased. Let me just go through it quickly because I didn't get the entire collection. Um, so I just want to tell you what I did end up getting. Um, I did get the two new eyeshadow quads. One is Elemental, one is Warm Memories. I did get the Illuminating Powder. I did also get the Stilo Ombre Contour in Contour Mauve. And then I did get three of the liquid shadows. I got color number... Uh, 22, 28, and 32, and then I got the multi-use glow stick in golden light. So we are going to be playing with all of this stuff today. I have my foundation and concealer down. I didn't powder because I think this is probably going to be the first thing that I'll try, this golden light glow stick. It looked a little bit deep online, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to be giving you swatches and all that stuff and uh, just kind of doing like a first impressions try on haul, basically. I don't know what I'm going to be calling this, uh, but that's what we're going to be doing today. So let me put down this box and let's go through each of these products one by one. All right. So first we have the Balm Essential in golden light. And I believe it was last year that they came out with this Balm Essential stick. They had a sculpt one and something else. The sculpt actually looked like a highlighter and the other one just seemed like a bomb, like a clear bomb, I think. I think I'm remembering that correctly. So I am hoping that this is, oh yes, this is more of a bronzy toned stick. So this will actually be a very, very nice complement to that highlight stick, which maybe I will pull out and use today. So let's do a swatch of this. Ooh, nice. Okay, well, it's not nearly as pigmented as it appears in the two. Let me do this again, just so you guys can see. But it is definitely very balmy. And so it has like a lot of emollients and not that much pigment. I wonder if I could use this on the lips. I feel like maybe I could use this on the lips. I didn't actually order any of the lipsticks. I think there's two new colors that have come out because they just didn't appeal to me. I think they were very pinky and I just don't use uh, pink lipsticks that often. So anyway, this could be an interesting lip color, but I do want to try this on the face as, I guess a bronze, maybe a blush because it is very, very peachy toned. Well, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So like I mentioned, I have foundation down and I do have concealer down around my eyes, but I don't have any powder down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like swipe this where I would normally bronze. Oh, okay, there's some decent pigmentation there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just use my finger to blend this out. Oh, that's nice. It's actually, it's very, very subtle and I think it works nicely as like a, like a bronzer. Oh, lovely. Not bad. That is much more effective than I thought after swatching it. It really looked very, very sheer on my hand, but I feel like it looks fairly pigmented on my cheek. There is a little bit of tackiness. So if that bothers you in terms of like face products, you may either want to like powder on top of it or, <laughs> or skip the product altogether. But yeah, you definitely have a little bit of tackiness there. It's very subtle, but I really like it, especially for a spring summer collection. I think this is a really nice like kind of subtle tint. Ooh, that's nice. That zit is not nice, but this is nice. All right, I'm going to um, actually kind of run my finger over the stick and I wanna use this kind of as a bronzer, like where I would see a little bit of sun, you know, like across the bridge of my nose, maybe just down, maybe I need to use a brush. I'm gonna use this newer BK Beauty 106 brush. I think it'll actually work nicely with this. I'm just gonna sweep it across and then sweep it across my forehead. Oh yeah. You know, I actually like the tone of this. It's actually very, very nice. It's a little bit more peach versus uh, orange. So there's like a, just a hint of like pink underneath. I do like the convenience of sticks because you can just kind of like swipe it all over. But because this has that little bit of tackiness, I do really prefer using a brush with this, I'm realizing. Well, all right. So that is the Balm Essential Multi-Use Glow Stick in Golden Light. All right, next up, let's take a look at this illuminating powder. This of course was the most exciting thing for me in this collection and comes with the velvet pouch and then it has the black glossy compact. It has the gold CCs in there. There is like the half moon brush in there. Ooh, ooh, 
this looks really pretty. Wow. So there is the illuminating powder. Isn't that just stunning? I'm just going to pull it back a little bit further away from the light. I think, yeah, you'll get a better sense of the shade there. All right, let's do a swatch. I'm just going to do a quick finger. Oh my God, the powder is so soft. I just ran my finger over it and there's like quite a bit of powder there, but there is the tone. This looks really beautiful. I'm going to swatch it right here. Ooh, the powder is very, very soft though. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. There's like a little peach undertone there. Ooh, the satin sheen is stunning. It is much more beautiful than I thought. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting this. This is really gorgeous. I think I was expecting something that was probably gonna be a little bit too deep for my skin tone by just looking at it in the pan, but there's such a high reflective quality, like the frostiness of it really comes through that it's really actually very light and bright. I'm gonna go ahead and like powder my face and get to the point where I use this highlighter. I did just wanna stop and show you um, what my complexion looks like now that I've put um, a light layer of loose powder down. You can still see a bit, well, you can definitely still see my zit, but you can still see a little bit of that Bomb Essential. I was a little bit worried that, you know, after I powdered my face, it was gonna completely blank it out, but it's still there. I think you can still like see the tint of it, but I am gonna add a little bit of um, like powder bronzer and blush. So I just wanted to kind of stop and show this to you before I added those other products down. All right, I have um, gotten to the point where I wanna use my highlight and I'll have uh, listed down below in the description box everything that I'm using on my face. So let's move into this illuminating powder. I I'm very excited to get this on my face. So since this uh, seems to be more of like a typical, I think it's like a typical pressed powder. Well, it's very powdery. It definitely doesn't feel very hard baked. Uh, I am not going to use a really dense brush because that could be a little overkill. So I'm gonna try the Scott Barnes uh, highlight brush. I'm gonna go in here. Okay, a lot of product is picked up very easily. You can see how dusty it is. You can see the bit of kick up in the pan. So this is definitely a very, very soft powder, just FYI. Just gonna brush that on right over my zit. <laughs> oh, this is very pretty. It's a very kind of like satin kind of sheen. I don't think it's as like high, high super shine as those highlighters that make you look wet, but this definitely has a really nice like glossy kind of like satin finish I kind of like that it's a little bit more subtle for spring summer which I think is really nice and it definitely I think works for my skin tone it's bright enough to have kind of like a lifting effect there despite the fact that it looks fairly peachy in the pan because I really thought oh, maybe I can use it as a blush if it's too deep but no it's definitely a very nice highlighter so let's do some quick uh, comparison swatches between this highlighter and the two most recent highlighters so the duo de camellias and the metal peach one from the ornaments collection okay so here is the duo de camellias here is the 2020 spring summer highlight God, it's so soft. And then here is the Metal Peach. Sorry, I feel like my highlight from this spring summer collection is a little bit soft. Let's just adding a little bit more pigment there just so you guys can get a good comparison of those three. But yeah, in terms of tone and effect, I feel like it's kind of in between the Duo and the Metal Peach, but it's a little bit more subtle in terms of highlight. Now this Metal Peach one, if you guys remember, I do think it swatches much more brightly than it actually appears on the skin, or I should say it takes a lot more effort to get it this reflective on your cheek because it's a little bit hard to pick up. At least for me, I have found that it's a little bit hard to pick up in the pan, but once I kind of like build it up, I get to this point, this one, is not hard to build up at all. All right, I just threw on some brows quickly because all we have left are some eyeshadow products. So let's get to these eyeshadows. All right, so I got three of the new liquid eyeshadows. So first, let's go ahead and swatch number 22, 
rayon. That is the lightest color. I believe there's five colors altogether, and I'm just going in order of how they appear on the website, but I got the lightest and then the two darkest. So this one is the lightest, rayon. This is what the applicator looks like. Just gonna swipe some there. Ooh, very, very pretty. I'm just blending it in a little bit with my finger. They remind me a little bit of the Armani eye tints, but the newer eye tints have um, a formula that's a little bit thinner than this. This is still pretty thin, but it's it feels a little bit creamier than those. So I'm on the Chanel site because I was curious as to whether these were supposed to, you know, dry down completely. And these are described as a long wear liquid eyeshadow. And it says one swipe delivers lustrous buildable color that can be smudged out easily with fingertips for a soft focused effect. And apply to eyelids with fingertips, the included applicator or Chanel eyeshadow brush, use a lighter shade to highlight cheekbones and the eye area. What? Oh, I'm glad I got this lighter color. What do you guys think? I think, I think that could work as highlight. Should I add some on top? Let's add some on top, let's just do it. Okay, I have a sponge here. I'm going to, I'm gonna, Dot some on here. Then I'm gonna take this sponge. Nope, let me use my finger. That did just amp up my highlight though. So if you're interested in a liquid highlighter slash eyeshadow and you have my skin tone, this rayon color would be really Really nice. Okay, so that is rayon, and this has uh, this has been on the back of my hand for a couple minutes now. I'm gonna use this finger, which is clean, and I'm just going to rub over. Oh, wow. Okay, there's pretty much nothing there. Pretty much sets down to like complete dry down there. 28 Desert Wind, that is this shade. And I'm just going to apply that here, my finger and blend that out. Ooh, that's pretty too. This one has some micro glitters in there versus the rayon. The rayon is just frosty. This one has, I hope you can see that, it has a few micro glitters in there. Ooh, that is so beautiful. Wow, and when you put down a thin layer like that, it's pretty much dried down already. And then the last color I picked up is number 32, Vastness. That's this shade here. It has like a little bit of a, a mauve tinge to it. Just cleaned off that finger. Oops. Okay, these dry down pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Let me try that again. Quickly blend away. Ah, yeah, yeah. These set down quickly. So if you're gonna work with these, I would say do one eye at a time. <gasps> Look at that though. Oof, that is pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay, so those are the three cream shadows. And then I have the two eye quads. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to get all of this on my eyes, but I did wanna swatch them for you. So this one is the Elemental. This is definitely the kind of cooler tone. Yeah, this is the cooler toned, uh, more subdued color story. And then here are the four swatches of the Elemental Quad. And then next we have Warm Memories. This is such an interesting quad because it has this really shiny peach color, but then the rest are very, very mauve. This one is beautiful. Not like the other one isn't, but this one is definitely more eye-catching. And here are the four swatches from the Warm Memories palette. Okay, so for today, I think what I'm gonna do is use the Desert Wind liquid eyeshadow along with the Warm Memories quad here. So let me start actually by applying some of this down. I just wanna start kind of on the inner corner and work over to the uh, center portion of my lid. And because we have to work quickly, I am going to do the whole find a brush game right now. All right, so I have my Esim W21 brush at the ready. And I'm gonna start by kind of wiping off some of the excess product because I want like a nice kind of light layer. And I'm gonna sweep this over the lid. Ow. 
I'm definitely finding like padding this eyeshadow kind of keeps it in place a little bit better. Otherwise, I feel like I'm moving too much of the product around and it ends up looking a little bit streaky. So I'm just kind of like patting my brush over to blend out and spread the product and that is working much better. Probably work really great with like fingertips too. Yeah. All right, so that's the liquid eyeshadow down. Let's move over into the quad and finish up this eye look. So we're gonna be using the Warm Memories Quad. And I'm gonna start with this matte shade, this matte movie shade in the upper left-hand corner. And I've got my um, S33 brush from Isom here. I'm gonna just pick up a little product and I'm gonna start to drag that over the top of where I have that liquid eyeshadow down. Just starting kind of like closer to the outer edge and lightening it up as I get towards the center. All right, I've got my Isom W36 brush and I'm going to go into this deeper, it's like a plum. It's more, I guess it's just like a deep mauve color. This is more mauve. This is just a little bit warmer than that. And I'm just gonna apply this to the outer corners of my eyes here. And take a clean blending brush. This is the G34 and I'm just gonna drag that over. And lastly, I'm gonna take some of this bright peach, kind of add it to my inner corner. I just wanna see how that layers on top of that liquid shadow and how it works. It's kind of like an inner corner um, highlight. So I'm gonna take my Sonia G Pencil 2 brush. Oh, fun. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it lightens it up just a little bit and actually blends into this shade really nicely, like right there. All right, I think that's all the shadow I can kind of fit on my eyes at the moment. Let me just take a look at the um, Elemental palette, which was a little bit more subdued. Yeah, there are two, these two matte shades here, which just for the heck of it, let me go ahead and just add underneath my uh, brow bone here. So I'm gonna go into the lightest one here, which is a little bit cooler. And I'm just gonna add that right underneath. So there is that eyeshadow and then this is without. It does actually help blend the eyeshadow at that top edge there. So I will do it to the other side too. Nice. Well, if you guys are interested in a video just on this quad, I would be happy to do that. Maybe after Mishmas because it's it's been getting crazy. But at least I was able to use three colors uh, from this quad here. And that is the Warm Memories and one of those liquid shadows. So let's go ahead and move on to the Stilo et Contour, which I'm really excited for. I love these pencils. They are really, really great. I think I've purchased every single one that they've released so far. And they've actually released two with this collection. But when I placed my order, the other one, which I think is just Contour Brown, that seems so boring, but I think the name is just Contour Brown. It looked like it was out of stock. So I was like, oh wow, I guess there was a run on brown eyeliner. So I didn't order it. And then when I went onto the site a little bit later, it was available. So maybe I was just a little bit too trigger happy and placed my order too quickly. Anyway, I did order the other pencil for this. Uh, I'm suspecting it's just gonna be brown. Um, so that's why I didn't wait to make this video because I didn't think it was worth waiting for that. So that is coming. And if you guys want swatches or whatever, maybe I'll post it onto Instagram. So this is the contour mauve. Let's see what this swatch is like because this doesn't look very mauve in the pencil. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with this. Maybe it's deep enough. If not, I'll go in with like a different eyeliner, but let's give this a shot because it may deepen up um, along my lash line. So I'm just gonna tight line with it. Kind of drag it underneath my eyelashes here. Oh, interesting. It's actually light enough that it's kind of having a similar effect to like when you use white eyeliner. It's lighter than the eyeshadow I have down, so it actually looks pretty cool. Let me um, put this in the waterline and see if that makes any difference. A little bit, but I don't know if I actually like that tone for my waterline. I think it's very dangerously close to making my eyes look red or like bloodshot. But let me actually line my lash line with it and see. I'm gonna take my Refer 2 brush and just smudge that out a bit. I kind of like that. I think when I just had it in the waterline, it looked very kind of stark in there and it really kind of made me look like I had 
uh, bloodshot eyes, but now that I've brought it down and I'm kind of like smearing and smudging it out, and I'm also smudging it out on the upper lash line and kind of bringing it into the shadow here, it actually looks pretty cool. I kind of like that. Ooh, I do have, I just noticed, I have some fallout over here from the darker shadow, just FYI. All right, I kind of like this like, mauvey, smoky look. It actually looks pretty cool. Well, we've gone through all of the products pretty much, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, well, here is my final look. I will, of course, leave everything linked down below in my description box that I have on my face, but I just wanted to give you my first impressions thoughts on the things that I tried. The Balm Essential Stick in Golden Light is lovely. I think it's really, really pretty. The only downside or the only thing that maybe could be a turnoff for you is that it does remain a little tacky on the skin. It is very balm-like, so it does kind of have that balm texture. And as I'm saying that, I just realized that I wanted to try it on my lips. I'll try it on my lips and I'll report back to you because I think I'm gonna have to report back to you on all of these things anyway. And I do think this is a great addition to the Balm Essential lineup. So that is the stick. The illuminating powder is actually, was very surprising to me. I was surprised by the formula first off because it's so, so soft. If you guys get a chance to swatch this in store or if you've ordered it and you haven't gotten a chance to play with it or whatever, just you know run your finger over it gently gently and you'll know what I mean. It's very, very soft. It's very loosely packed in here. So it's going to be very, very easy to pick a product, which is definitely a plus, but it's, it's just, it's very, very soft. It's very crumbly. Um, but the color and the tone is just gorgeous. Let me actually show you this cheek because this cheek, I put some of that eyeshadow on, but this is a little bit more true to what you'll get from here. And it's just a really lovely, like satiny kind of finish highlight. And it's a really nice, it's like a tone between the last two highlights highlighters, but the metallic sheen of it, I think is also a little bit more dim than the last two that have come out, which have been very, very bright and icy. So I think this is a really nice uh, change. Um, so that is very lovely. Um, as for the two eyeshadow quads, I really was only able to use this Warm Memories, but it is lovely. It performs like all the more recent Chanel eyeshadows from swatching the um, elemental one, I feel the same way. The mattes feel incredibly, incredibly creamy and soft. And these two satin shades felt uh, very similar to other Chanel eyeshadows. But again, I'm gonna have to actually use them on my eyes to let you know how they really perform. So that's the elemental uh, quad. And then the three liquid eyeshadows. I am quite impressed with these. I do think that there's a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, one, with how quickly they set down pretty quickly, at least in my experience. And also when I was using a brush over here, I was noticing that every time I kind of brushed over the pigment, I was just kind of moving it. So like with a lot of other liquid eyeshadows, I don't think that this is specific to the Chanel ones. I found that padding really was much, much more effective in spreading the actual product around as opposed to like kind of brushing back and forth. Of course, using your finger is probably really, really good too, to kind of just like massage the product around. And then it pretty much is like, there to stay like it's not it's not budging so i think it makes a really nice eyeshadow base if you want to put that down you can very easily layer powders or other liquid eyeshadows on top of it because it's not going to move but again i only use this one color so i will use these other two and let you know how all of that works out contour crayon very nice. Again, much like the other ones, it has a similar consistency to all the other ones. It's a little bit on the softer side, so it's really nice and easy to like get onto your lids or your waterline or wherever, um, but it does set down and it doesn't budge. It is pretty amazing. And what I always forget to show you is that there's a little sharpener at the end if you wanna sharpen the tip of this because this is one of those um, twist up twist down guys. So that is a first look at this Chanel Spring Summer 2020 collection. I, I think it's beautiful. I think most of the collections that Chanel comes out with is beautiful and this one is no exception. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.